Hello and welcome to the online launch of exhibition Quarantine Project by Patricio Casinoni in the McKenna Gallery at Riverbank Art Center. My name is Alex Rosiak and I am delighted to open this fantastic photographic show and, and I would like to encourage all our audiences to visit the McKenna Gallery in the coming months. The Quarantine Project takes us on a journey in time in which Pato and his partner Nairi narrate their experiences of the first COVID lockdown through a series of photographs of their daily life. The images they created depict a multitude of moods, situations and ideas. And they do so sometimes with light humor and sometimes with profound gravity. I think we all can find something to relate to in this exhibition, like quiet moments of exhaustion or instants of frantic escapism. We are looking forward to welcoming everyone in the McKenna Gallery. The Quarantine Project exhibition is here for all of you to experience and we can't wait to see you enjoying Patos and Nairi stories. So don't be a stranger, stop by, visit the gallery, visit the riverbank. We are here for you. Thank you. Hi everybody, I'm Patricio Casinoni and I'm here with Nari, my partner, uh, to introduce Quarantine Project at the McKenna Gallery. So Quarantine Project is a photography series that we created over 70 consecutive days during the first lockdown. Um, it's got so many different inspirations, um, so pop down and have a look. We never imagined when we started to work in Quarantine Project, that was at the beginning of the first lockdown on the 20th of March 2020, that we are going to finish doing it for 70 consecutive days. Uh, as everybody else, I guess, like we were thinking, the lockdown is going to be for two weeks and we are going to be released to come back to our normal life. Yeah. And through the project, we start to portray what was the new normality. Yeah, and we were inspired by what was happening every day in the media. We were inspired by other artists, painters, um, theatre uh, shows that we've seen. We were, we were really just trying to take whatever each day was offering us um, and to be kind of like spontaneous in our decisions about what we were going to shoot that day. Uh, we start when we start to run out of inspiration as well <laughs> because what's happening, uh, as Nairi say, we start to uh, revisit, for example, classic uh, classic paintings as American Gothic uh, or portrait of Frida Kahlo, Whistler's uh, mother as well, Whistler's um, mother, yeah. And it was really nice to bring those into a kind of contemporary setting with all of the COVID restrictions. So, so we were getting used to this new normality of wearing masks being distant, being locked at home, um, and I think that we really wanted to try and incorporate those into images that we were, we were very familiar with um, and uh, how we could kind of show what they're like and resonate with a contemporary audience. We tried to translate into images new concepts as wash your hands singing two happy birthday for example, or social distancing that was something that never exist in our life previous to, to the 2020. Yeah, um, we were trying to have a bit of fun with it as well because at the, at the time it was really just for us. We didn't really know what, what was going to come of all this. We didn't know how long it was going to last. We thought we might take, you know, we set ourselves a challenge of taking one picture every day and we thought it might last for two weeks or something. Um, and I think if we'd have known it was going to last for months and months, I don't know started. if we would have said every day. <laughs> yeah. But, um, but we, we, we tried to keep it fun for ourselves as well. We had just gotten a dog as well, so he features really heavily in all of the pictures because it was really just us at home. Um, and and we, were, we were following the media we were watching TV programs, we were watching movies and we just decided to be inspired by each thing that we saw each day. I hope that you visit the gallery, visit the exhibition, I hope that you can relate with the images mm -hmm. and, and overall I enjoy the show.